There we go. Hello, everybody. This is Lab Shack, uh, one of the most amazing online uh, live action online game conventions um, you can find on this planet or the universe. I'm, I'm not sure about the universe. And this is uh, at least the most exciting convention for our little cave here because we are bats as we are playing Bat Cave, a game where we are a swarm of bats in a cave. And unfortunately, that cave is not uh, good for us anymore. And we need to find a new cave. Um, I will guide you through the game. I'm Gerrit. And we have already done safety before starting the recording. Um, we are playing with lines and veils, X card, and the door is always open. And uh, we have a chat, which people looking at this video, which they can't see where we communicate. So this is important for our safety. And we, <laughs> and we will, um, yeah, you know, we make secret jokes in our chat and you will never know. Um, and we have a spreadsheet and in that spreadsheet, we will do a character creation in a minute. But first of all, let me tell you a little bit more about the bed cave. So this game is about playing this family of bats looking for a new cave and we will make uh, noises and move like as if we were bats. So this is more like a fairy tale so we can normally speak English by the way. Fortunately, bats all speak English. Um, and uh, it is, but we can also make noises to react. So we, uh, so we can say yes, but you can also say <laughs> for example, and maybe that is intensifying the way we feel as, as a bat. Um, we turn our camera upside down. Um, that is a nice feature some versions of Zoom have. Um, and that way we look like hanging from the ceiling. Um, we uh, all know a little bit about bats and some people more and some people a bit, little bit less. I don't know that much, um, I have to admit. Um, we are not here to do perfect representations of bats, but if something is important for you as, an, as a bat expert, which we, you want us to respect about these animals, that would be good to know. Like, I'm not sure. That I know that there are bats which eat fruits and others eat insects, um, others even suck blood, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the game, for example, I wouldn't mind eating it all. <laughs> no, no matter if there are actually no bats eating everything. I don't know. And um, the game will not last longer than 90 minutes from now on. And so um, we need still make, need to make use of this time carefully. And what we start the game with is doing uh, a warm up exercise. Um, and uh, that warm-up exercise is pretending to be bats already. And I will also turn nine, uh, 180 degrees for that. Um, the, um, the, the warm-up is just five minutes. And I ask you to go full into bat mode. Try it all out find something how to how you can express yourself but there's one important thing which happened uh, which you might know from other labs um, is that it's it's great to imitate what others are doing so that we are converging to something so you see something cool somebody is doing like lugging in their wings and like this and then we could all try to do that so look out for something you could replicate and imitate and make your own because after the five minutes of warm up, we need to come up with three clearly identifiable um, gestures, which we can from then on use in the game, which stand for joy uh, and joy and excitement, one for disagreement and one for understanding. And so we, we need to have like a repertoire of these, which help us to avoid language to some degree and instead use gestures. This is a little bit like uh, the game Sign by Catherine and Hakan, where you create gestures. Okay, I will turn myself 180 degrees. 
Are you ready to go into bed mode? I'll try a little bit out, five minutes. I, I look at the, at the clock. Okay, then there we go. All right, uh, thank you very much for being bets already a little bit. Um, in the game, we can also talk. So it's not like the full 30 minutes just making strange noises and walking, uh, go, going back and forth. Uh, and it's up to you how much you go into this, for obviously. And we embrace all kinds of play styles here. But now we need to decide about these three um, gestures we want to have. So we would, one, for understanding, empathy, and community, something which expresses like empathy, understanding. Um, Martin, do you have like an idea? And it needs to be a gesture you're suggesting or a or sound no, it, or? It, can, it can be a sound, yes. The community. Um, I, uh, how about something like, I don't know, I'm picturing like flying foxes and you know, dog like stuff, so maybe something like yip, yip, yip. Yip, 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 yip. Yep, 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 yep. Let's all practice this. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. And Chris, you're muted. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay, yip 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 is our gesture or our expression of community, of understanding, empathy. And we also need something to disagree, something we find annoying or where we have like disgust. That might be how, how strongly we express that. And Kitty, do you have an, an idea? Uh, is it possible uh, to like kind of pull away a bit from the microphone? Is that like a way we can, yeah, like make yourself kind of small. Yeah, if we can all do that, I'm not sure how, how well you can. Yeah, I don't know what people's like seating, like seating situation is. Yeah. But like just the way of being like. Yeah, yeah. that works. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah, that's very on point. I love it. Yeah. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. And finally, do we have something for excitement and joy, April? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could, like, I'm really happy to flap our wings a bit. Yeah. Like this. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I like mm -hmm. it. <laughs> there is a lot of excitement here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so let's all express some understanding. Yip, 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 yip. Let's yip, show yip, our yip. strong disagreement with something. And now we are really excited. Cool. Role playing's fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. <laughs> yeah. Cool. No, no, we have to do all this, all this boring stuff as well, like character creation and discussing like a story to be created. And stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to move back, but now I have to go to the spreadsheet again. Cool. I, but I follow my own instructions because this is a playtest. So, but I'm, I'm right, we're doing character creations now. And all the good news is that all beds refer to each other with they, them pronouns, um, because they have like biologically very distinct roles, uh, but uh, um, they don't care when they talk to each other, it's just they, them, and they don't make any differences. Um, they have like, um, let's, Let's look what we need to decide on, what kind of character we play. Um, you could think about if there's a human being you always enjoy to interpret and think about like how would they look like as a bat. That is uh, my favorite way of uh, creating a character and you will never know who it was. <laughs> and uh, then you need to think about, or you could also just like um, go step by step through the character creation. You need a, a name for your bed, and bed names only have one syllable. Um, that's the only rule. So if necessary, you can scream them. Um, you could just, for example, use the last syllable of your last name or anything else. There's a drop-down menu. So um, you, can, um, you can also just pick one of those names I pr propose. And on the very last column, there even is a random character, which is created anew every time somebody enters something. <laughs> so you could also just copy from the random character or better type from the random character part. Um, can you all look at that spreadsheet or can I help some of you um, entering stuff and picking like a column for yourself? Don't forget to enter your name so that not Somebody else is typing over you. So you need a bad name. The next thing is a body feature. Here the idea is that uh, life in nature is brutal and that can, has changed your bed in some way. So maybe you have like a broken wing or you have um, uh, uh, lost an eye. Something like this could have happened. But this is totally normal and the beds are still there for each other. And even if you have a broken wing, that mean, means you will not be left back or anything. And 
please come up with whatever you want. Um, you don't have to pick from this list. This is just a list to give you a couple of examples in which direction this should go. And in the text in column B, you can also read um, a, a little help. For example, for the body feature, it's good to think about like how this feature is affecting you and your relationship to the swarm. For the voice, it's good to think about how to use your voice for, for the benefit of the swarm. Um, the voice is kind of like the role you have in society. Uh, so there's a special need you have. And for the special need, it's important that the current cave is not fulfilling your special need. So the special need is also defining what is problematic and where we live. And I think I will put in there um, weird noises from human facilities. And I don't want that in the new cave neither. Where whatever we find, no weird noises, please, anymore. Um, I've, I recently had an appendectomy, and I had to shave my belly to do that. So I'm kind of leaning towards the fur, patch of fur missing uh, mm -hmm. for body feature, if that's okay with everyone. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, like a discoloration, uh, therefore like making camouflage difficult. Um, I want to, to emphasize that this is not albinism, um, but rather just like uh, very uh, like unusual markings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And at the very bottom there's joy and that is more or less the same like a need but just mm -hmm. a little bit more joyful <laughs> so it's mm -hmm. something which in the end could turn out to be more important for you than the need that is just how the game sometimes goes that's my feeling um, and that is totally okay <clears throat> and this is, by the way, the moment where it makes sense to make notes if you can't access the spreadsheet. I'm fortunate to have two screens, so I will have the spreadsheet in front of me. So it's much easier to play towards what the others are saying because you just can look it up. It's like one of the big advantages of online LARPing compared to regular in-person LARPing. Have you like your your notes in in your face all the time? Yeah, take your time, but um, when you're ready, just give us a shout, and I'm ready. I think I'm good. Yeah, 
right so next step obviously when we're all ready um, already having a look should we change our names on here as well to match the bat names that's a good idea yeah that makes it much easier Great. Okay, it seems characters are more or less ready. Um, we um, do character introduction. Then I will tell you what will happen in the actual playtime. Then we take a five minutes break. And uh, then we play through the game. Does that sound good? I can introduce my character first. Um, my name is Sock. I'm very hectic and scratching myself very often when nervous because I have like a serious infection, like a bacteria or something. Not something of what bats can fully understand, but understand maybe better than humans who think they could like treat this. I just live with it. In our swarm, I'm the innocent in some sense. And I'm, um, I'm really annoyed by this uh, weird noises from human facilities close by to our current cave. And I would love to have something without such terrible noises because they keep me from sleeping by day. And finally, I love light effects, like, like when there are like prisms and or there's like water and then in the water you can see all kinds of effects. That is exactly what I like. This, watching this I could do so for endless hours. That is me, Zok. Uh, and can we get to know Key? Yes. Uh, so Key. Uh, Key is a... Uh, so... Uh, I, I, I'm a bit, I'm, I have unusual markings, um, which makes it very obvious uh, which, which one of the bats is key, um, like from a distance uh, to a point in which um, it has attracted unwanted company. Uh, Key's purpose or, or role uh, in the group is uh, the mess, uh, the disaster. Um, key means well. I mean very well. Isn't that enough? Um, the special and my special need is that uh, I want slash need uh, to have larger animals also living in that cave. Um, one, so they can distract um, from again, more unwanted attention, but also cause they have food and sometimes they have a lot of food and then I don't have to do anything. I just take it, it's great. Um, and the thing that brings me utter joy, uh, is when everyone is together. And I, I mean everyone. If anyone's missing, I take it personally. That's me. That's oh, key. The whole flock. That's good. And can we get to know a lot? Sure, yeah. So... Lod's a uh, bit of, I guess, the rebel archetype. His need involves like hanging off, hiding out in dark corners of the cave because he really kind of wants to get away from all your bats sometimes. Um, as kind of a result of the fact that he likes to go exploring random places, especially in the deeper in the cave system. Um, so like a cave system where we had a, a, actually ending in a cave system rather than just some kind of like 
30 foot and we're done kind of thing would be spectacular, by the way. Um, but yeah, as a result of all that, he kind of at one point got a fairly nasty scratch along his back that never fully like closed up and it's kind of oozing, but he just sort of ignores it. So that's sounds doable. I think we find something. Yeah, that would be nice. It's not a big deal. If we can combine everything, what everybody needs, let's see. And Brie, who are you? Uh, oh, hold on. I was trying to change my name. But... No, I can't wait. Oh, oh, now I've destroyed my rigging. Hold on. Oh, 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 please don't roll. April is the only true bad here. Turning um. actually the laptop down, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Making this work. Alright. Jury rigging is in my blood. I can do this. Eh. Lost on the altitude, but that's okay. I'll fool with that in a second. Okay, uh, so Bree is the healer. Um, very focused on the health of the other bats in the swarm. And um, this came as a result of a terrible accident in which she lost a leg. And so as a result, um, humidity is the big enemy because when the roof of the cave is too slippery, uh, Bruce can't hold on. And she only has one leg to do that with so finding a cave with low humidity where there's solid things to grab with the one leg is super important. Um, hanging in the cave is kind of not the favorite thing. Uh, having lots of little tunnels to fly around past that's we're breaking up a little bit no because flying is forte and crawling is definitely one leg so lots of little tunnels to zoom around in and no humidity for falling off the ceiling on slippery rocks no humidity huh Cool. What? No humidity. Yeah. You were breaking up a little bit with your, your internet connection, or was that just me? Oh, no. Um, it could be me. Um, yeah. There is kind of a thunderstorm going on. No, it's already good. So, <laughs> I fall off. Okay. <laughs> we, we build it into play. You're flying through narrow tunnels, possibly, mm -hmm. when you are breaking up. <laughs> yeah. And the, the echo is just not coming through so bad, so good. <laughs> The echo sound, the ultrasound, yeah. All right, and then there's also Ko. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Ko, and I am... Uh, my distinctive body feature is that I have a patch of fur missing, uh, and it's a little bit colder and uncomfortable and, you know, itchy and stuff like that as it's uh, growing back slowly. Um, I am the jester. I like to make you know, people laugh, but I also like to make people think and uh, consider what they're doing. So I tend to clown around uh, with the other bats and uh, make them see it. Maybe, maybe I'm trying to point something out to them. Uh, maybe I'm just trying to be a clown, uh, but I am the jester for that for both reasons. Uh, I'm uh, in favor of high ceilings. Uh, I think probably this cave has either some like dirt or, or like mud or maybe a uh, shifting earth or something like that you know, or like a bunch of leaves over the years have kind of built up and it, we don't have enough clearance really to fly comfortably or perch 
safe way out of reach, you know, with all this stuff building up on the on the floor, you know, raising us, raising other things closer to us. You know, so getting more high ceilings is important, and it's something that the jester is unusually serious about. You know, but I also particularly, Co also really particularly likes playing with water and uh, splashing around, uh, even swimming in it and stuff. So having a nearby source of water, maybe not enough to be uncomfortably humid, uh, but to uh, splash with uh, or play with afterwards uh, can be a lot of fun. Cool. Thank you very much. And this is our, our swarm, our flock. And um, yeah, it, what, what I haven't told you yet and what is important that the play structure has these five minutes I haven't talked about yet so much, and which is in between. Look, we have 10 minutes where we just get to know each other and, this, and learn about our special needs and um, just be, our, be ourselves. Um, just don't forget to imitate each other when you see something else uh, somebody else is doing something then it is it is great to, to just follow up on that like especially like sharp things and then uh, after these 10 minutes i will tell you it's time to fly out as the facilitator in character that's uh, in, my, in a double role and then we have exactly five minutes well it can it, it's okay to be six minutes long if you return a bit later to fly out of the cave and go to your favorite web browser and Google the hell out of it to find a good cave. And cave doesn't have to be a literal cave. We are bats and we just don't fully understand. Like for example, it could be like a swimming hall or a, a cave on the moon, whatever you want, it could be. And the bats are magically able to fly to any corner in the world. Um, no worries about that. The distance. Find what you uh, find something suitable. Hopefully, following all the needs. Maybe just yours. Who knows? It's a personality thing. Then come back, and then we have twenty minutes to present uh, each other what we found. But be aware, we are bats, so we can't like ex like explicitly describe what we found. In, in human language, but we have to find our own way to ex describe that to our um, swarm mates. Um, in the end, after this 20 minutes, we should make a decision to which cave we want to move. And then this is where we go. And part of uh, the debrief obviously is like revealing uh, what suggestions we actually had in mind. Um, so let's see how this goes. Does it all work for you? Does it all make sense? No, we need to like learn to properly say thumb up. <laughs> uh, I think so. I may need a little bit of a reminder, uh, like once we get started with the five minute break, but I think then we'll be good. Yeah, I will use the chat to give you information and, uh, okay. to be, and, and I will also look at the chat. I won't look at the video yet, but uh, yeah, I saw that, that there's a link. <laughs> All right, cool. Then we have um, four minutes only left. Is that enough that we start at? Sharp the hour. Is that okay? Cool. Use the time to stretch your legs because when you are in bed mode, that can be quite strenuous after some time. <laughs> See you at sharp the hour in character. The game begins.
We're all here. Where's Key? Where's Key? Key isn't back yet. Key is just, just a disaster. That's what Key does. Hey, oh. Key, were there large animals too? Yeah. Uh, for its I food we offering? Were, I thought we were meeting on the other side of a cave. Of course you did. No, 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 no. You waited there for 15 minutes. I was scared you all left without me. Right? No. <gasps> oh. Bree. We, we wouldn't leave without you, Key. That wouldn't be anywhere near as fun a joke to do. Maybe some of you wouldn't leave without Key. Hmm. No one. No one would leave without Key. No one. No, no one, one would. It, Bree, what's, what, what did you bring? Grapes! Grapes! Food. Grapes. Everyone go better. No, so tasty. At least one good thing about our cave. I want good grapes in our future cave too. Yes. Grapes. Coco. 
Is your fur okay? Oh. <coughs> Lord, where are you? I can't see you. Over here. Oh, there Look you harder. are. Oh, what do you do? Hanging out at the moment. Ooh. We, thought, we thought you left without us. All of us thought that. No, no, no. 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 Mm -hmm. All of us. All I've of been us. here the whole time. Mm -hmm. Left us like the bears did. Remember the bears that we had in our cave? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, those were, they were a time. They had fleas. That was the mm -hmm. worst part. Mm. The best <clears throat> when sleeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so wet here. There was another rain, I think, outside. There's always oh. rain outside. Who did that? Who did the rain? Was that you, Ko? <clears throat> Stop mm. it. The rain's fun to play with, but it's also shivery, and there's never enough to play with it. <sighs> I like the rain. It makes all the rocks slippery. And I only have one foot. Oh. Uh, yes. Hold on. Don't fall off. Yeah. We'll find you another in the new cave. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we, yeah, we really we, need somewhere drier. We take it back from the fox. Yip, yip, yip. A fox would, would look quite fetching on you, actually, <laughs> Bree. Yip, yip, yip. <laughs> oh. oh, I would I would love to see another rainbow. When the rain is gone, sometimes there comes a rainbow. More colors for everybody. I just get annoyed because everything else floods. Can't go deep when it floods. Oh, mm -hmm. It makes echoes sound so strange. It's like it moves the entire world. Oh. Mm -hmm. Key, you are so poor. Yeah, that part's kind of neat. You can't fly as fast when the echoes are off. Mm. And I love to fly fast, especially in the teeny, teeny tiny tunnel. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you there. Oh, that is cute, yes. Yep, yep, yep. What happened to what happened to our sixth bat? What what hap what happened to Vo? Vo Is Vo coming? Vo's gone. Vo's gone. Vo's gone. Yeah. Was it something I did? No, I think it was one of these machines from the humans. I don't want any machines anymore. Wherever Those we go, bad. please, no machines, no machines. And you hurt. Bro perched too uh, near the ground. Uh, he didn't mm. get high enough. Easy pickings. Mm -hmm. Easy picking, yeah. High, high. And no, no light, right? No. Mm -hmm. Lord. Yeah. Oh. Too much, too light in here now. <sighs> the entrance is too large and no. But I want a little much. rainbow sometimes. You can go outside for that. But not now. Not now. You have to stay with us for now. All right. I think the ceiling is high enough here. Sometimes I'm afraid I fall down and I scratch myself too much. Mm. Yeah, we Maybe need. We find a cave with a smooth floor so Ooh. if you do fall down it doesn't hurt as much oh what about, <gasps> what about he is moss? so smart what about moss moss is something Ooh. to yes. grip on moss. and there are and there are bugs and stuff in moss mm. tasty bugs tasty bugs yes it's Ooh. only at the mouth though mm. who likes bugs Bugs are delicious. Bugs are, Bugs are delicious. They're Especially <clears throat> weird ones deep in the cave. 
I have some spares. Does anyone want some? Oh! Here you go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I find them in pieces of fruit sometimes, and it looks like they've already gotten the best pieces. It's no fun then. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Well, the new heard, cave yeah, we would have perfect bets. Mm. I heard the bees already left. You know, there was a hive outside that was always making a lot of noise. They left too because of the humans. Oh. Those we poor need... bees. Poor mm -hmm. bees. Yeah, they were tasty too. They, mm. Well, they made they. Yeah, because then that's where the bears hung out, and then we got pieces of fish. We got some fruit. It was great. Maybe this isn't that bad here. Mm. Yes, it is. If if we had higher ceilings, though, Zach, you could catch yourself in mid-flight, you know, in mm -hmm. mid-fall, and prevent yourself from hitting. It's too lonely Ooh. here. It's too All lonely. Right. No one's here anymore. There's no one left. Because of the humans. It's true. But we are Few here. Of us. Don't trust things that can't fly. Mm -mm. Yeah. Bree, what do you want to find in a new cave? I want to find a cave that is dry so that I can have a good grip on the ceiling. But how and shall we have moss if it's dry? We don't know. These are difficult questions. I just want moss and dry. And I don't know how to make the two go together. Moss, moss and doesn't dry. go deep. Could just be at the entrance. Yeah. Moss. Plus Could the moss. Deep. Moss can be wet instead of you. Yeah. Uh, a little tunnel. Mm -hmm. The seal the ceiling could be dry while the moss and the floor are wet. Or is is mm -hmm. the ceiling for us? I don't think that works. But it needs to be high enough so that the deer don't eat the moss. No. No. I would oh, eat the moss. Deer. Are we having deer as well as bees and bears in our... Yes, of course. Home? Of course, we would have to. We would have to. But for a lot, we need like really dark corners. I would like a larger cave. A large cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Large caves also have high ceilings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and moss. Lots of space for moss. Mm -hmm. I see rings, dark corners. Oh, webs. 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 Passages. And spiders. Uh, just the webs. The spiders themselves are, they're, they're not friendly. Tasty. Tasty? You eat them? Don't gross. The small ones. You're gross. Spiders, some of them will make you sick. Uh, in explanation, there might have been a time when I dropped uh, some spiders on key. On key? On key, yes. It was oh, quite funny. That was you. It was not it funny. Was. Cool. I saw it. It was not funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. It was not funny. Oh. I, I key was hurt. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe you had to be there. Oh wait. He, he was, was there. there. <laughs> key was the most there. You couldn't be any more there than Key. I think the spiders were more there than Key. Mm. Well, they're not anymore. No <laughs> one's here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm here. Kiki. Very here. Very, very here. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. But enough of that. I think we need to fly out and find a new cave. One which is perfect for all of us. Yes. The perfect cave. We're all going together, right? We are going together out and we will be here again and meet here. And mm -hmm. then I will tell you where to find the best cave. What? Oh, you're going separate? I will tell you where to find the best cave. You're going separately too? We're all going separately, but we're meeting back. What? 
Promise? We will be. Yeah. Please go. Promise. <clears throat> of course. Good. So there's just the four of us, or are we all going? No, out? we're all. No, leaving. I'm going. Well, we we promised. Go we're yeah. promised. We're good. Okay. All right. Okay. Later. You all. I'll promised. find the best cave. I will fly with you, Kiki. Mine will be okay. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. You're back too. Bree, did you find something? Yes. A cave with food in it. With food in it. Oh, delicious berries. Lord, you are back too. Mm -hmm. Key. Soon we are all together 
again. Oh, so exhausted. Go! Too hard, I see. We're complete again. <clears throat> I start back. Okay, okay, okay. It's I have to. Back. Oh, I have to tell you about the cave I found. What? You found a cave too? I thought I was going to find the cave. We all did, Key. Yeah, but it's like, I can tell you, mine is definitely something you, we should definitely consider. It might not be perfect, but it's very close. It's like, it's like, it's from humans, but they are gone. They're not there anymore. That's and the, the best kind of human. Yes, gone humans. <laughs> And I think we could also bring the bees with us. There's enough space because the heat ceilings are enormously high. And, 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 and there's like, there are things to crawl through. And I, I was looking for, for different large animals, but I couldn't find any except for like, like those without flesh. Just the bones. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. And they're walking I, around there. I've never met, I've never met a bone animal. A bone animal, yes, it's, it's strange. But the bone animals are walking around? Yeah. Are they supposed to do that? I've seen hmm. not walking bone animals just flying. Yeah, so you found the tired ones. I think they were dead. Oh, Lord. What else can you tell us about your cave? Oh, yeah, no, the one I found was uh, huge dry, um, some water but deep, and water outside too. Um, lots of high ceilings, lots of narrow passages, lots of dark spaces. Dark spaces? Huge. Yeah. Insects good. It's no humidity. No humidity? No, what? in a desert. In a desert? In a desert? Yeah, but there's water around, streams, waterfalls, outside. Oh, sounds very outside. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be outside. You need to get food somewhere. Yeah, inside. I mean, Bats. yes. And there's insects there. If you want fruit, go outside. Hmm. I'm going to eat spiders again. Key. Or what did you crickets? What did you find, Key? So I was thinking. Everyone was looking <laughs> up. Right? Like, we want to find big caves. Um, I, went, I found one by going down. By going down. There, there, there are these little, like, spokes, and you crawl through them, and then there's this big open space um, with, with lots of, uh, of, like, dripping, and there's, like, some weird plants I'd never heard before, and everything smells terrible. It's great. It's gr so great. Smells rotten. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, there, there were lots of, of there were like bats without wings. Um, they, they were, they were very noisy, but they, they seem to welcome the company. But noise, no mm -hmm. matter it's from humans or from wing, no, wingless no, it was, bats. It was just wingless bats. Aren't humans just wing, wingless bats? No, they're furless bats. They're hideous. I think mm. I Some of us are very sensitive about once. not having fur. You still have fur. You're fine. Even you without fur. Open you're just, sore. It could be worse. Fine. It could be worse, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this open sore is kind of a pain, but you don't see me complaining about it. Yeah, you could be a, bo a walking bone animal. Lod, where would you find time to complain about anything else other than all the stuff you already complain about? True. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That was so funny. Yep. Oh, what did you find? Me? Oh, um, well, I found this very, you would like it, uh, Zach. It has some very pretty colors, you know, reflected. There's a stream through it, but there's also a whole bunch of big, big stalactites uh, to cling from and uh, nestle with and kind of weave between, you know, when flying and so forth. 
Are those the ones that go up or the ones that go down? Stalactites are the ones uh, that go that go down. They're from the ceiling. But yeah, from the ceiling. From our direction, they go up. Oh, so they take our space, do they? But they're, they're easier good. to hang on to. Yes. Mm. Oh, is right. Mm. Some I think say- it's just the cave trying to keep us out. My my grandmother has always said that they are they are bats which turn to stone because they didn't want to sleep by day. <gasps> I think I heard that story too. I I'm not so far. Or to like they turn to stone on top of each other and thus get large that way. It was near let's see, it was also on the cave I found was also on. Uh, I had to fly a little bit further than usual, but it was it was out in the middle of the big water uh, on an, uh, an island, and there were fruit trees and everything around it that also attracted some nice bugs and stuff. I didn't see too many big animals though. Is well, it dark? The cave itself was dark. Yes. How big? Um, the opening was a little bit low, it was over the water a bit, uh, but then it broadened up uh, to allow all those big stalactites and so forth, you know, once you were inside. Do they have peaches? I love peaches. I think there were those spiky things, you know, with the big spiky... Oh yeah, apples! Apples? I think apples. Yes, it sounds like apples. Bree is our food expert. <clears throat> they can tell us. Are these apples? Mm. Yeah, they have spikes on them. They're real I hard to get to. Yes. Mm-hmm. These are apples, yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Apple it's, bugs. It's fruit that defends itself. Ah, oh, it's fruit. I thought it's bugs. And there's still bugs there. Also fruit that might be fun to drop on someone. That wasn't what I asked. I'm sorry, uh, what, what did you ask? I got the Are there bugs there too? Yes, uh, I saw some bugs eating uh, or buzzing around the fruit. Uh, did you take it from them? They don't deserve such sustenance. I'm pretty sure I took some of the bugs. It was a long flight. I needed to replenish myself. Hmm. If we oh. take away all the food from the bugs, they will not return. The elders told us once, that happened to them. We just promised the bugs late that they'll be fruit and they'll be fine. Well, if there's enough fruit, then there's fruit for everybody. The mm-hmm. bugs and us. Oh, Bree. We eat all the fruit and then we save a little more for them. That sounds good. Some proper mm-hmm. bug farming. But I don't want to fly very far. I'm tired. Yeah, and we need to stay together. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, the, we only have to do this once, right? Oh, yeah. This is it. We just have to find the perfect cave once, and we never, because... Yeah, what so if we fly far, it's not a big deal. Ugh. Yeah, that's And you true. can have a nap first, Key. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. I would, I would rather prefer flying as soon as possible to the new cave. It is so, oh, so much noise here. Mm. Just mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't want to end up like, though, or... Whatever their name was. The but dad. where do we fly? Which oh. cave is it? I think in, in my cave, we have everything what we want. I even have light effects there. It's like there is, there is something like a window with, uh, and you with did tainted say glass. There were big, fr- there were big, big bone friends. I want to I see what, they, what they're up to. Just walking around there, don't, not doing anything specific. No. Is it deep and dark? I mean, light effects are great and all, but it needs to be dark. Well, it's not. It's. 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 It's not. It's. It's dark, but not like dark, dark. Mm. It's. It's. It's good. I think it's not just not dark, mm-hmm. dark. It's not too big, right? That we won't find each other. Because what if we lose each other? Well, but what, if we, what if we figure out everything there is to find in the first two days? And it gets really boring really fast. Hmm. 
Mm. That sounds good. I want it to get real boring real fast. You would. Okay. And these bone creatures walking around, do they have food with them? Mm, no, they have like there's like like shiny gold things are there too? I don't like the idea of walking bone things. Mm, that's mm. just like the stalactite guys, except they're not quite stone yet. Yeah, but where do we go then? Wingless bat friends. Wingless bats? That sounds so human to me. Mm -mm. No, they're small. They're like our size. They're f I, I bet they'll be friendly. And they make noise. Mm hmm. They're very talkative. I just don't understand what they're saying. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. Not for me. Oh. Vote either for Lord's Cave because it's very dry and big, or for Coast Cave because he has described the food very well, which is one of my great loves in the <coughs> I like I like Desert Cave. I don't desert. like desert, but I don't like desert, but Desert Cave. That sounds like a luxury. Is it cave? It's nice. But I mean, I... Lots of neat stuff on the ceiling, too. Like, weirder than stalactites. <gasps> like boxes and stuff. It's cool. Did you hear something? Hmm? The humans. I think they are coming. Maybe yeah, they're coming for here. a cave. We knew this day would come. So, should we... Tell us a little bit more about that cave. Where do... Oh, and load. Yeah. Um... A desert. Is there... Uh... It's hot there. Well, but the cave is cool. And it's not that hot because it's a high desert. And, and could we make nice light effects there somehow? I mean, there's a waterfall in the area. Oh. Waterfalls make nice light. Very nice. Very nice. There is a waterfall in the area? That's yeah, awesome. it's just not in the cave. But it's by the cave. <clears throat> like, there's water in, the ca in parts of the cave, but parts of other parts are very dry. If you go out to see the waterfall, you better come back. Waterfall, waterfall. I like the waterfall. <clears throat> I'm not sure about fruit availability. It's kind of a bug place. Kind of a bug. Well, but probably berries in right in the right season. Yeah, almost certainly berries. <gasps> oh, Brie, Brie. Oh. I like fruit so much. Oh. I, I think but, we have to come up, we have to, the humans sound like they're getting close. Yeah. Yes. And if we just fly off now, we'll all get lost and we'll never see each other again. It's true. I don't want he, for us to never see each other again. Yeah, however, I think oh. like, he could you, when we are at the new cave, could you stop staring like this at me? Um, um, it's, okay, yeah. it's okay, Zach, I will stare at you like this instead, so ah! you can take a break. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> You're all just making fun of me. <laughs> it's what Co does. It is what Co does. <sighs> uh, but more about your cave, Co. Like, what is the actual cave like? There's stalactites, but does it? Is it deep? Is it dark? What? It's got lots of ridges uh, to climb on, and to hang on, and even like slanted shelves of ceiling you know, to crawl up. You know, it's, you know, there's some uh, stalagmites, although not as many as the stalactites. You know, there's some pretty colors that the stream you know, through it has you know, kind of made the stone over the years. And um, 
The ancient switch turned to stone are waiting for us there. I hate that. No. What curse have they put on on above on top on top of them? That they were turned to know stone. If I believe this. I'm curious I think about your this. grandmother might have been wrong. I no. No, their elders are always right. Uh-huh. Can we just go to the can we go to the desert? Because I bet there'll be fewer humans there. Okay. That sounds good. Fewer humans also sounds good for me. Do cacti mm-hmm. have food uh, for Brie? Yes. Maybe. Some cactuses have the, the, the meat, the inner, the, the inside of them. Or at least the flowers, even. Yeah. It's, it's danger fruit. <laughs> danger fruit. No risk, no reward. And when I have stomach itches, then, then you're coming and helping me, Brie? Oh, yes. I love that when you, when you when you like punch my stomach. Oh, it's always immediately better. This is what I do. Yep, 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 yep. I think we have come to a conclusion. I think we could we could go out there and fly to our new cave. Lord, can you lead us? Sure. Is everybody in agreement? Cool. Will you come with us? I look forward to it. Yes. Good. Everyone stay together. Yep. You can't have anyone getting lost. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So let's get out here and say goodbye to our former cave with a big scream, a bad scream. <laughs> Free from the bats. Yeah, I assume if we're not bats anymore, we rotate. Yes, let's do that. <clears throat> and I think I can even decrease the color intensity. <laughs> I can look like a normal human being. <laughs> cool. Oh, what's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, and we are all back. Thank you for being bats for 30 minutes all together. Mm-hmm. Um, we flew to our new cave and the game is over here. Thank you for uh, playing. Um, we, you can leave now if you want. Uh, you can also stay for maybe make some 10 minutes longer and uh, do something like a debrief. Uh, which is very importantly that we share the place which we recommended. And I definitely want to know where we will from now on live. (laughs) And (laughs) so maybe we can do that. And I think I stopped the recording here because this is something we can also save in our own memories. And I can look that up in the document when I want. (laughs) Because if you are so kind and share the link, then yeah, we, yeah, let's, let's, go maybe we do it in the order that we go with the cave where we end up in last but first goodbye record